Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Megan for those of you that are new and thank you so much for clicking on this video. And if you're a returning viewer, welcome back. Anyways, so glad to have everybody here no matter what. We're going to get started with a huge Walmart haul. Um, I spent like just like a hair under $500. It's disturbing, I feel sick. Don't tell my husband. <laughs> <laughs> by the time you guys watch this he's home in the garage he just saw me lay it all out he'll look at the bank statement and throw up before you guys are even able to see this it's the prices of groceries are disturbing so i had to get stuff that we need for home but then my sister's birthday party it will have passed by the time you guys see this but i'm also helping host that so i had to get a bunch of stuff that i need for that as well and then i grabbed a couple like little small christmas gifts or stocking stuffers just while i was there i was not the only one who had a massive cart you can tell the holidays are upon us so anyways i have everything laid out we are gonna go kind of take a look at all of that thank you guys so much for stopping in give the video a thumbs up subscribe i'd love to have you stick around i'm always posting motherhood content cooking cleaning parties grocery hauls lots of good stuff so make sure you stick around all right here it is um <laughs> there's so much stuff here and like it's i mean to me like this is not worth 500 dollars, but like that's what i don't know i'm disturbed to be honest but like what can I do about it? So we're just gonna start over here. Like I said, some is for my house, some is for my sisters. I'll just kind of give a quick overview. This is gonna take me a few minutes. So uh, grab yourself a drink, pause me for a minute, go get a drink and just sit back, relax, and let's go over this together. So back here, Addison just asked for a bag of Doritos. This is always his go-to. Him and the girls will totally chow down on those later. These Tostito rounds, I'm gonna make some buffalo chicken dip for the party, which is tomorrow. Um, so I'm gonna have uh, Tostitos to go with it and also these non bites. Um, I usually all I cut these up, so I might cut these like into half, but I love buffalo chicken dip with these. So if you haven't tried that yet, I highly recommend it. Just another bag of milk for the girls and for cereal, we go through so much milk here. A box of crackers. I'm gonna put this out at the party as well with some like kielbasa and cheese and everything. So I figured I'd get the festive ones because how cute. Here, just the great value, like Nutri-Grain bars. We go through a lot of these. Addison and the girls all love them. I like them too, I just don't eat them often. Apple cinnamon, mixed berries. These are I think $1.97 or $1.87, something like that if you get the great value ones. Down here, the uh, nano drinks were on sale, so I got a pack of the strawberry banana and then one pack of the vanilla. The girls love these. A container of sour cream. We are going to do tacos for dinner tonight, and then I also need sour cream for one of the recipes I'll be making for the party tomorrow. These, I was going to make my own, which I still might, but I just wanted to have um, a container of cinnamon rolls. I might make those, oh shoot, I was going to say for breakfast tomorrow, but the girls have soccer, which starts very early so i don't know we'll see maybe actually maybe sunday maybe sunday i'll make that for breakfast and then sorry i'm so so hot you guys i just lugged all this in and i'm dying over here i got two containers of half and half it was on sale addison uses plain cream for his coffee and then plus it's like soup season which some of our soups call for like a cream i'm sure most of you know um no plans for this i just thought i would grab one of these uh crescent rolls I think this is the only thing I bought like for myself. Um, I've never tried this one before. I don't love like a peppermint flavored coffee, but I love after eights. So I don't know. I thought I would give this a whirl. I've never tried it before, but um, I love coffee creamer. Back, well here, I'll show you this first. Um, just some butter puff pastry. I really wanna make that Nutella Christmas tree. I'm sure you guys have seen it all around Instagram, TikTok, whatever it is you watch. Um, I'm not going to make a reel out of it because the whole world has, but I really wanted to try it. So I grabbed that. And then back here, um, this is not all for drinking. I'm going to make a punch tomorrow, like a vodka Christmas punch for the party. So it calls for orange juice, cranberry juice or cranberry cocktail. Um, it calls for apple cider. Uh, first, I found plain apple juice. 
Um, and I was like, okay, the store doesn't have cider, but then I found cider closer to the checkout, like in the produce section. So I meant to tell him I was gonna put this back or just check the price on this, but he scanned so fast. And you guys, I find Walmart checkout so freaking stressful now. If you're local, you probably understand. There's no section to bag your own groceries anymore, but you have to bag it and they move fast and there's just no room. You're fighting for that tiny space between you and the cashier. Not fighting, I mean, the guy and I were talking, laughing, but anyways, I forgot to say. So this is the only drink that we will have on hand here, but that's okay. I will put it away for the holidays. We're gonna have some sleepovers and the girls and their friends can have some juice. And then also, ugh, that vodka, whatever um punch calls for uh it wasn't sprite it wanted something else but the other drink i don't remember what it was it was a no for me decided sprite would be better and then these will be for addison he loves these little mini ginger ale cans back here uh ranch you guys okay so pc obviously is not a walmart brand i did my entire ginormous walmart haul and i realized i forgot ranch so i had to bop into the store next door because I had left the parking lot then I remembered. So I ran into Superstore and I grabbed Ranch. Um, while I was there, I'll show you in a second, I grabbed a few gift things that were on sale. Back here, um, I've never tried this baking spray before. We are completely out of like olive oil or avocado oil spray. So I grabbed this and this was beside it and I thought, you know, I've done so much. Um, Can I help you? He just jumped up there. Can I help you? This is not your grocery haul. This is mine. Can we get down? <laughs> you guys, cats have no chill. You're so savage. Yes, you are. You're so savage. Um, okay, anyways, yeah, baking season's upon us. I've done tons of baking. So that I'd give that a shot for my baked goods. Down here, cheese was on sale for $4.97 a bag, and I need so much cheese for recipes over the next couple days. So I I hope I got enough. I got um, two matzo cheddar, two medium, and one pizza mozzarella. I'm gonna make a crock pot mac and cheese for the party tomorrow, so I also needed some shell noodles. And then I also got um, a couple blocks of cheese, also for the party, I'll cut some up and then I'll have a little bit left over for home. So we have medium and marble. Should I do this? Also for the party, um, Borsen, who does not love this stuff? This stuff is so good. Even my kids are obsessed with it. So I'll put that out at the party as well. Uh, just some spring mix. We just needed some lettuce for home and I decided to get this and the rabbit will eat this as well. So everybody will and we'll use that for tacos tonight. I was going to get iceberg as well, but that's so unnecessary. Um, for the buffalo chicken dip tomorrow, I'm just going to use these. It was so much more expensive to buy it this way, but I just, I don't want to have to pre-cook. I'm too busy tonight and tomorrow to like pre-cook and shred chicken. I know it's easy, but you guys just let me have this. <laughs> and then um, for that punch, for that punch I'm going to make there for the party, I'm just going to put some cranberries and some sliced oranges in the top and let them float around. I think that that looks so pretty. Um, and they were on sale for like cheap back here um these are also for the mac and cheese i have never in my life seen a recipe that calls for a cheddar cheese soup in mac and cheese but i'm, I'm excited to try it. it looks really good so that'll be for the mac and cheese and then down here i'm gonna do on the menu chicken enchilada soup this week calls for dark red kidney beans diced tomatoes and tomato paste so that'll all be for our soup for dinner one night and then Addison requested just a can of regular original baked beans to have one day uh, with breakfast. We don't eat beans a lot but like we think that they're really good. So moving on, um, I haven't bought this stuff in so many years but the girls, like I said, the girls have soccer tomorrow. They start at 8 a.m. So after I get all this put up and away and get working on the rest of the week reset, I'm gonna make these and then we can just have these on the go tomorrow for soccer. So that's oatmeal chocolate chip. Back here, just some vegetable oil. Um, this will take me like years to go through. It might even go bad if it does before I even need it. But every once in a while, something baked good wise calls for vegetable oil. Um, and I'm just about out finally of the old container I have. 
Down here, the frozen, the great value frozen vegetables were on sale for $1.98 a bag. So I got their corn. I like their corn. And then I also like their broccoli. Oh, ew. Uh, oh, you guys, I hate cauliflower. I thought that this was just broccoli. Oh, well. Okay, well, a bag of broccoli and cauliflower. That's my bad. Whatever, I'll eat it. Um, for produce, just peppers. Harper's been begging me to get her a lemon and a lime to put in her water. Uh, her friend does that at school. I'm not going to say no. I don't know if she'll like it. I don't, but you know, obviously because I don't like something doesn't mean she won't. She has very different taste buds than me. I can't stand citrus. She loves citrus. So um, I got one of each for her to try and we'll see if she likes that. Then for more produce, I just got some strawberries, blueberries, raspberries, and blackberries. So I got a huge thing of kielbasa as well um, for my sister's party tomorrow. And then two cucumbers, one for home, and then one I'll slice for the party tomorrow. Back here, just a couple of mangoes, kiwis, bananas, all for here for the girls. They'll gobble all those. Um, also to go with the snowflake Ritz crackers, I got just these for the party. These are so good with just some kielbasa and cheese. Um, baggies, we are completely out of sandwich baggies. We have so many medium freezer, but no sandwich. So I grabbed a box of those. I think I mentioned taco night tonight. So just some, I usually like the spicy one, but I just got mild today. Um, raspberry candy canes. I have a feeling that the elf wants to play a game with the girls where they have to search the house for 12 candy canes that he hid. I think that's what he wants to do one night. So, um, I picked those up so he has those down here. Tons of odds and ends here. This is, we're getting into the, this is like the fun part, like the actual like Christmas holiday stuff. <laughs> Except for this, um, just a pencil sharpener. Other girls just need another pencil sharpener. Toothbrushes. Um, my kids, I don't know about you guys, but like my kids like, oh, sorry, my cord is spinning. Like almost like trash their toothbrushes, like Harper's. I think she brushes really rough. Her toothbrush is just frayed open. It's disgusting. So they go through them so fast. I just started buying these Equate ones. They're totally fine. Um, usually, because uh, I have toothbrushes in their bathroom and on the main floor for them. Oakley, I give the orange to. Harper, I give the blue to. And that way they're never confused as to who has what brush on what floor. They just know. Oakley gets orange. Harper gets blue. And then I just got a new one for myself. It was on sale. This is new. I grabbed this for Addison's stocking along with these. He'll probably see this video and whatever. Um, this is a tongue cleaner. So I've never seen that before. Anyways, I got that for him for a stocking and these, he likes these flossers. I do not like the flossers. I like actual dental floss. So I needed some for the bathroom down here. Yes, I keep a roll of dental floss in the bathroom. Um, so I just needed a small roll. This, um, my car chapstick is all empty, so I needed a new one. So I just grabbed this one. No rhyme or reason. It just, I don't know, called my name. Then I also got just some toothpaste for the girls. I am completely out of deodorant, and you guys, that is not a good thing. Um, I worked my butt off this week for other people, and I was all out of my good deodorant and had to use, like, natural ones. You guys, I was freaking ripe this week. <laughs> Like, yeah, no filter here, no judgment. I don't care, whatever, right? Like, I'm human. Um, I was freaking right. But this stuff, this is like the best deodorant I have ever found. The, the stress response, because I've tried others and they're not as good. And then the hard one. Um, I have a little bit left of the, like the gel. It's not gel, but like the cream one upstairs. I hate it. It makes your armpits feel wet. That one's fantastic. And then razors. Um, I need some more. I have tried a kajillion different razors in my life and I actually really like these ones like I did one time just try like the equate ones I thought I'd give them a whirl they are fantastic and they are such a better price than the other ones so I'm so glad I just decided to give them a go one time paint the girls are all out of paint so I think I'm just gonna wait till Christmas and then divide these and put like maybe three in each of their stockings comes with six so um, that'll be for that. These will be gifts for a couple people for Christmas. This I wanna make um, like oatmeal, are they called monster cookies? 
I think so. I've never made them before where they're just like, kind of like the everything but the kitchen sink cookies or whatever those are called, but just the monster versions. I don't know. Anyways, I thought it'd be cute and festive to just do the red and green things. And then I also got these, oh my God, I love peanut M&Ms. I got these to put out Christmas day when my family is here. These, how cute are these? Nutcracker Reese's. I'm gonna put, like break these up and put a couple in each of everybody's stockings. These are just to have for here. I, these are my favorite. Like the Grinch, they're just milk chocolate, but they're adorable. Sugar cookie, if you guys haven't tried, these are amazing. Um, I see them everywhere I go and I keep telling myself like you don't need them You don't need them, but you know what you guys it's Christmas time These are gonna be gone before I know it and I will just be sad that I never picked them up. So I got them um, Also, I just needed some more parchment paper. I'm almost out of the other stuff and I've done a lot of baking lately These are some okay. Well, this is just cereal for home uh, Addison asked for Reese's puffs and you guys if you haven't tried this it is so good This is my one of my favorites now for an evening snack now here, this stuff is like gift stuff. Um, these look so good, I've never seen these before. So I'm gonna give one of these to the neighbors next door. They give us something every year, some sort of chocolates or something. And then I got these to go with it. I love honey roasted peanuts. And I got all of these, they have three kids. So I got one of each. I, I don't know if they'll like these. I mean, who would not, they are delicious. So I got one of the Skittles candy cane, a Grinch, Hershey's Kisses, and then a regular candy cane shaped Hershey's Kisses. And then I also got one of these as a gift for somebody else. I really want one for myself, but I don't know. Maybe I can send Addison and tell him I want one of these for Christmas. And then the last few food things, I was gonna, I started putting stuff in my cart to make my own veggie tray for the party tomorrow, but it was way more expensive than this was gonna be and it's already done and pre-made and cut and it comes with a dip, that was the problem. The veggie dip alone was $5 and this whole tray with everything was, I don't know, $13.97 or something. But the, the price of groceries is so bad that it was just cheaper to get this and I don't even have to worry about it. So then for home, we just got some thin sandwich bread. I've mentioned before, everybody does really well with the thin bread. These, they didn't have any large ones, so I just got some small tortillas for taco night tonight. And then these are delicious. I haven't bought these in quite a while. These Parmesan garlic and herb bagels, toasted with just butter is so good. And then the last few things I got, I needed acetone. If you guys watched my last Get It All Done, um, I ran out and my nails were disgusting. <laughs> I wanted a big bottle, but that was all they had. And then here, um, this was from Walmart. This uh, gift count bag, it was five, okay, five ninety eight, but it comes with five bags, so that's the same price as it probably would have been at the dollar store. And they were just cute, simple patterns. So I got some of those. I got this, I've been looking everywhere for like a nice affordable ribbon. I wanna put it around my canisters right there. You know how people tie their little bows around it. Um, I looked at Michael's and one roll of ribbon this size was $16. Like, that, that is an absolute joke to me. So I just found this one, it was like $1.98 or something. Much better. And then when I ran into the Superstore, they had some of their gift wrapping supplies on sale. So this was on sale for two something. I just love the colors, it's like rose gold and like um, iridescent and gold and silver. Really like that. These I thought were gorgeous, so you guys know I love pink stuff. Um, they were on sale for, I don't remember if it was $2 each or $1.79, I don't know. The bags, a lot of the bags were on sale for $1.29. So I just grabbed a few gift bags because they're just so cute and these are so helpful when you have those like awkward shaped gifts. A couple small ones, but then a couple more big ones. I love this, oh my gosh. I'm so bad, I always use the favorite ones at home like for Addison and the girls so that I can reuse them again the next year. <laughs> How cute. And then a couple small ones. Anyways, and then these, I got um, this one and this one in the larger bag as well. But anyways, I just thought that that stuff was cute. Might as well grab it while I'm there and it was on sale. So, sorry, this was so long as it is. Oh my God, this was like the length of a normal whole video. So hopefully it wasn't too bad, didn't drown you out, didn't lose you guys. But yeah, just about $500. Tell me down below, is this about right where you guys are? Does this seem like it would cost $500 where you guys live? Um, 
I'm in Canada and this is just what it's come to, so. Okay, now I'm just gonna whip up these oatmeal chocolate chip muffins. Just need an egg, water, and half of the package. Okay. All right, I'm just gonna guess half is about there. 